When we talk of Nazis, there is a lot written about men. But women were involved in the horrors of Holocaust too. Here we list some of those women. 1. Gerda Steinhoff Gerda began as a block leader at Stutthof concentration camp on October 1, 1944, when she was 22. There, she took part in selections of prisoners to be sent to the gas chambers. She was devoted to her job in the camps, and was known as a very ruthless overseer. She fled the camp before the end of World War II. Up to 85,000 prisoners were murdered at the Stutthof concentration camp. She was arrested by Polish officials on May 25, 1945, and was sent to prison. At her trial, she and her fellow defendants spent much of the time joking with each other. She was convicted and condemned to death for her involvement in the selections and sadistic abuse of prisoners. She was publicly hanged on July 4, 1946 on Moskupa, Gorka Hill, near Gdansk, Poland. She was 24 years old at the time of her death. 2. Vera Southport Vera was a Sudeten German who served as a nurse in Kapo at Ravensbrück concentration camp. She was first arrested in 1941 and sentenced for 10 months in jail for having a Jewish lover. She served 10 months in a prison in Flossenburg concentration camp. In 1942, she was arrested again for another relationship with a Jew and served another two years in prison. On December 6, 1944, she was arrested on charges of helping five detained officers escape and was then sent to Ravensbrück. There she was chosen to serve as a nurse in the camp's medical wing as there was a shortage of SS personnel. When she worked in the camps, she would regularly oversee the gassing of thousands of sick and ill women. She also extracted gold teeth from corpses, which would then be melted to finance the German war efforts. Even though she went in as a prisoner, as time when she seemed to take a more proactive role in the killings. She was captured after Ravensbrück was liberated by the Soviet Union in April 1945. Up to 90,000 people died in the Ravensbrück camp. At the trial, she was sentenced to death. On June 26, 1947, she was hanged by Albert Pierre Point on the gallows at Hommel Prison at the age of 27. 3. Hermine Braunsteiner Hermine was a female camp guard at Ravensbrück and Maginet concentration camps. She was known to prisoners of Maginet concentration camp as the stomping mare because she stomped women to death with her steel toe jackboots. She was said to have thrown children by their hair onto trucks that took them to their deaths in gas chambers. She was arrested by Austrian police after the war. She was convicted of torture, maltreatment of prisoners, and crimes against humanity and against human dignity, and was sentenced to serve three years, of which she served only one year. She met Russell Ryan, an American businessman who she married in 1959 and gained American citizenship in 1963. In the late 1960s, Nazi hunter Simon Wiesenthal discovered her real identity, after which U.S. authorities sought to revoke her citizenship because she had failed to disclose her convictions for war crimes. On August 7, 1973, she became the first Nazi war criminal extradited from the USA to West Germany to face trial. She stood trial in West Germany with 15 other former SS men and women. It lasted for 474 sessions and was the longest and most expensive trial in West Germany. On April 30, 1981, she was sentenced to life imprisonment for her complicity in murders of over 1,000 people during the Holocaust, but was released on health grounds in 1996. She died three years later at age 79. 4. Dorothea Binns Dorothea was a supervisor at Ravensbrück concentration camp, where she joined because she disliked her previous job as a maid. Even though she was as a low on hierarchy, she was known as the true star of the camp, and the chief guard was completely overshadowed by her deputy. She supervised the bunker where prisoners were tortured and killed. She would beat, whip, and shoot the women inmates. One time she spotted a female inmate on work detail who she felt was slacking off, so she bludgeoned the prisoner to death with a pickaxe, then cleaned off her boots with a dead woman's skirt. She was known to watch for the weakest or most fearful prisoners, whom she would then shower with lashes or blows. A camp survivor later said, her eyes shone when she beat people. She trained over a hundred other female concentration camp guards between 1943 and 1945, instilling in many a similar degree of sadism. She reportedly trained some of the cruelest female guards in the system. She and her boyfriend, a married SS officer, Edmund Browning, would reportedly go on romantic walks around the camp to watch prisoners being flogged after, which they would stroll away laughing. 
She was captured on May 3, 1945, by the British in Hamburg. She reportedly was so terrified upon being arrested that she had to be carried into prison because her legs were shaking too much of fear to walk. She was convicted of perpetrating war crimes, sentenced to death, and subsequently hanged on the gallows at Hamelin Prison by British executioner Albert Pierre Point on May 2, 1947. 5. Herta Boda Herta began as a guard at age 21 at the Ravensbrück concentration camp in 1942. After four weeks of training, she was promoted to be the overseer at the Stutthof camp. There she became known as the sadist of Stutthof due to her brutal beatings of prisoners. There in the camp, she used to shoot at prisoners when they were carrying food from the kitchen to their huts. She also used to pick out girls to beat with a stick. In July 1944, she was sent to the Bromberg Osub camp. The camp was liberated by the Allied forces on April 15, 1945. At 6 feet 3 inches, she was the tallest woman arrested. When the Allied soldiers forced her to place corpses of dead prisoners into mass graves adjacent to the main camp, she complained that the emaciated bodies were still heavy enough to cause her considerable back pain. She was tried at the Belsen trial, where she was sentenced to 10 years in prison for using a pistol on prisoners. She was released early from prison on December 22, 1951 as an act of leniency. She died in March 2000 at the age of 79. 6. Irma Grease Irma dropped out of school at age 15 because she could not deal with the bullying and volunteered herself to work as a guard at Ravensbrück concentration camp at age 19 in 1942. In 1943, she was transferred to Auschwitz, the biggest of all the concentration camps. There she became known to beat prisoners with a plated whip, and she also let loose dogs on prisoners. The inmates nicknamed her the Hyena of Auschwitz. She was so severe to her prisoners that even the superiors at the camp had to tell her to let go, which she ignored. She was captured by the British Army on April 17, 1945 along with other SS personnel. The press labeled her the Beautiful Beast. She was tried for ill treatment and murder of those imprisoned at the camps. After a nine-week trial, she was sentenced to death by hanging. At 22, she was the youngest woman to die judicially under British law in the 20th century. 7. Maria Mandel Maria was the top-ranking official at the Auschwitz-Birkenau extermination camp where she is believed to have been directly complicit in the deaths of over 500,000 prisoners. For this, she was nicknamed the Beast. Any prisoner coming in who looked her in the eye was never seen again. She also kept pet Jews around her for fun, whom she used to send to gas chambers after she was tired of them. The U.S. Army arrested her on August 10, 1945. In November 1947, she was tried in a Krakow courtroom and was sentenced to death by hanging. She was hanged on January 24, 1948, at age 36. 8. Ilse Koch The most notorious of them all, the titular character of the Nazi exploitation films, Ilse, she wolf of the SS is loosely based on her. She was known by them. Nicknamed the Beast of Buchenwald. She was married to them. Commandant of the Nazi concentration camps at Buchenwald and Sachsenhausen, Karl Otto Koch, and was an overseer at those camps. At the camps she allegedly killed, prisoners who had nice tattoos and skinned them to retrieve the tattooed parts of their bodies to make lampshades of it. She rode her horse through the camp, whipping prisoners. At times she used to stand topless at the gate of the camp when new prisoners came in, and if anyone looked at her they were killed by SS guards. She was arrested by U.S. authorities on June 30, 1945. She was tried by American military court at Dachau, where she was charged with participating in a criminal plan for aiding abetting and participating in the murders at Buchenwald. On August 19, 1947, she was sentenced to life imprisonment for violation of the laws and customs of war. Her sentence was reduced to four years imprisonment on June 8, 1948, after she had served two years of her sentence, on the grounds that there was no convincing evidence. She was rearrested in 1949 and tried before a West German court after huge public pressure. On January 15, 1951, she was sentenced to life imprisonment and her civil rights permanently forfeited. She made several unsuccessful petitions for pardon. She finally hanged herself to death at the Achak Women's Prison on September 1, 1967 at age 60.